everybody, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome. Today's reaction video is going to be a reaction to Nova Rockefeller, and this is also featuring Tom McDonald and Mad Child, and it's the official music video for their track Sober, which they're all doing together. Really looking forward to hearing some more of Nova Rockefeller's music, and obviously Tom McDonald and Mad Child are in it as well, so that's a bonus. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get into it and see what they all have for us. Here we go. What up y'all, my name's Tom, little while back was an alcoholic Had a mental breakdown like a year ago, came close to putting me in a coffin Damn, after the hooker I loved, after I did all the drugs After I finally got fired for showing up late to the job, hella tired and drunk After the oxys I put up my nose with my boss on the oil rigs when I was young After my ex cut her wrists and the cops thought I stabbed her and beat me then put me in cuffs After I totaled my car trying to run from the cops with a kilo of coke in the trunk After I drank till I rotted my teeth on my head, got infections and all of my gums After I couldn't get hard cause the vodka and porno sedated me till wow. I was numb After I couldn't escape from the basement I rented and went to go live with my mom After I cheated on people I needed and lied trying to hide from the guy that I was Then I got sober, the madness was over, now I am proud of the man I become yeah. I'm finally someone that I know again I started climbing out the hole I'm in Fighting demons and I know I win It's time for me to mend these broken ways Wow, okay, first impressions, absolutely love this, just love the whole vibe of it, love the fact that they're coming together and they're singing in this chorus, um, really, really cannot wait to see if like Nova has her, you know, uh, piece to actually sing just on her own or if she's just going to be singing in the chorus, um, obviously I'll forget to find out <laughs> as the song progresses, but I love this whole video, just the way he's um, they're sort of like sat in the circle at obviously AA and he's pouring his heart out and and he's being brutally honest about his life and what led him to become the person that he is today how he's like in his words he's um, climbing out of the hole that that he was in and he's proud of the person that he's become now he's he's sorted himself out yes it's an ongoing battle it's a daily battle for anybody that that um, deals with you know depression and and addictions whether that be drugs alcohol um, pornography anything like that whatever addiction it is it's a it's a daily battle um, that you have to make a conscious decision to not go back to that lifestyle to not do that that those kind of things those destructive things that that literally will ruin your life they'll ruin everybody around you and and they could potentially kill you and I, fair play to him for being so brutally honest and open about this he literally is pouring his heart out and I mean I'm, I'm kind of learning stuff about Tom I didn't actually know him to be completely honest I haven't done any research on Tom all I know is from what he's actually sort of put in his songs and obviously people um, who have been kind enough to give me a little bit of background on, on him um, in the comment sections of my reaction videos but um, aside from that I haven't done any hard research on him so this is an eye-opener I had no idea that he'd been through quite this much in his life and and this is why he is the person that he is this is how he became the person that he is today so props to him for being so open and honest for having the courage to speak up and talk about the struggles that he's been through and what led him down those dark paths um, absolutely admire the guy, respect the guy completely, and I, I'm loving this this song. I mean, although it's kind of heartbreaking um, to hear the struggles that he's been through, all, all the the pain and and all the addiction and, and things that he's battled. At the same time, it's also heartwarming to know that he is a he is a different person now, and he's he's on the right path, and he he's a better person for it. Um, and that sounds weird to sort of like say that he kind of had to go through so much struggle and pain to be the person that he is and be a better person. Sadly, that of, that often happens. Um, that's that's real life for a lot of people. But he he literally is a better person for it, and he's he's on the right track with everything. He's he's uh, got himself sorted out, and yeah, he's he's making a conscious decision to say no. I don't want to. I don't want that life anymore. I don't want those things in my life anymore. I'm I'm different. I've changed, and I'm I'm on this journey where I'm going to make something of my life, and I'm going to be a better person for it. And I love that absolutely 
just total respect to him for that and for being so open about it so yeah loving this so far just everything about it love the 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 beat the vibe the instrumental and and just his delivery of it love the fact that like i say nova and uh nova is in this and and she's she's singing and they're both obviously like you know together in the video absolutely brilliant so far i'm really enjoying this so let's carry on and see what else they've got for us My name's Mad Child. I've been off to Zanny's for a while now. I was waking up feeling suicidal, but I think I'm finally starting to smile now. Man, I lived a hell of wow. a life. I've been to hell and back twice. Lost $10 million through different addictions. Don't tell me about paying the price. From penthouses with top models, hanging with strippers with pop bottles. You're anxious and hiding alone in my room from the world. I was pissing in pop bottles. From chart top and being a role model to flop records and lost follows. When I caught product, I got a month's worth. When I left the spot, Cops follow. You saw a photo, it was only face, cause I was 85 pounds overweight. Mental breakdown, trying to catch wow. a plane. Wasn't mad, child, I was only Shane. My puppy Lola was my only gang. Had to put my baby in a grave. I walked away from every brick I laid so I could build a new wall to keep me safe. I'm finding someone that I know again. Wow. He's been through it too. Climbing out the hole I'm in. I just say as well mad Charles delivery on that absolutely phenomenal and props to him as well mad respect to him for uh, also being open and honest with his struggles and 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 just having the courage to kind of speak about these sorts of things because sadly as I've said before in other reaction videos there are not enough people within this genre of music who are brutally honest like this who, who talk about their struggles and who talk about the darker side of fame and and the pressure that that brings and even just in normal everyday life even if you're not trying to be famous just the the struggles that a lot of people face just regular people that you could walk past in the street and you don't know the struggles that they're going through behind closed doors you don't know what their life is all about what they've been through and and, and the pain and trauma that they've had to deal with and you know i've said before as well in in another reaction video i think it's that's why it's important i think to um just show empathy and to try and be kind to everybody because you don't know that you, you don't know whether they are actually going through something and they might be off with you and don't get me wrong some people are just blatantly horrible they're just blatantly rude mean people and they don't have any excuse they they're just mean um but at the same time i think you know because you don't know what you know who you're going to encounter um you could you could have a, a, a an experience or an encounter with somebody a, a total stranger and they could be really off with you they could go off on one about the slightest little thing and you know you don't know it to you it seems like an overreaction but you don't know what they're actually going through in in their in their personal life they could be really really at the end of their tether and and at breaking point and we don't know you you just you just don't know that um so i think it, it you know to a degree i think it I, I would just say be kind to you know try and be kind to people and until you can kind of figure them out more or until um you sort of like know what their story is because um you you may well very be surprised if they were to open up to you you may well find out that they're going through things that that are just horrible just so painful and so traumatic and so um just brutal uh so i i mean props to props to them for for doing this this is this is something that needs to be talked about a lot and it, I, I think particularly any, anybody but particularly men i think need to know that it's okay to talk about these things and to 
open your heart and wear your heart on your sleeve and show this amount of raw emotion because I think a lot of men still have this idea, a lot of people, but particularly a lot of men still have this idea that they have to be strong, they can't show emotion, that they can't talk about their problems, you know, they've got to kind of shut them away and be okay for the rest of the world or the people around them because, you know, guys don't cry and, and you know, oh, you're a grown man, pull yourself together, what have you got to worry about? And, and ultimately the same with, with fame. I, th I think certainly as far as fame goes, I think a lot of people make the mistake of think looking at these famous people and thinking they've got everything. They've you know they're rich, they're famous, they they're successful. What do they have to complain about? What do, what problems can they possibly have? And you don't know. That's that's just it. They could have so many problems that nobody's aware of that they hide, and and they mask it with things like you know all these addictions. You know like with with drugs and alcohol and 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 just. They dig themselves a hole and they can't get out of it so I, I just I think that this needs to be talked about a lot more particularly with with anybody but particularly with men because there is this stigma that men are supposed to be the ones that are okay men are the tough ones and they shouldn't talk about their problems they shouldn't wear wear their their problems openly and their hearts openly on their sleeve and uh, you know and then it's not okay to cry or to show any kind of emotion or or weakness and that is not true in fact I think it actually shows you're a stronger man you're a stronger person if you are willing to admit this I mean not I'm not saying not you know not everybody wants to talk about their problems openly um, and just randomly go and tell everybody but you know what I'm saying is when you have a platform like this and you know full well that this genre of music brings with it so many issues like you know the glorification of drugs and sleeping around and um and partying and and alcohol and things like that i i think it's more important than ever to actually touch on these things and to touch on the dark side of of this this stuff of this genre of music and and fame and and what people can possibly go through even normal everyday people um, so fair play to to these to all three of them for for talking about this and willing being willing to put a, a song like this out and like I say wear their hearts on their sleeves. I props to them, mad props to them. I respect anybody that can do that that has the guts to, um, because yeah, it does take guts. It really does. Um, I love that. I love that delivery. Um, mad Charles delivery on that. Um, he's he's brilliant. I mean, yeah, he's. He's definitely talented in his own right, and uh, yeah, I, I know there are a few. I think there are a few other songs that they've done with Mad Child or Tom McDonald's done with Mad Child. So that would uh, would be really, really uh, interesting to get into more of that stuff um, and hear hear more of his music as well, because um, he really has been through it too, and he's he's picked himself up and and you know he's going down the right path now, and that's awesome. Uh, I love to hear that. Okay, let's carry on and see uh, see what else they say. When you fall down, and the world's closing in, you can get up again, up again. Life has been hard, I know it gets better, this is a war that I love Nova's voice in this as well. Awesome. Shot by Nova as well. Wow. Love that instrumental as well. Just the, the very simple little piano. Um, just two notes at the end just going backwards and forwards and it just it was a, a, a an awesome way to finish that song just that's that's all you needed after all of that honesty and uh, um, just just all of that pain and trauma throughout the song talking about it and then just to end on that very very uh, soft instrumental with the piano loved this guys I thought it was absolutely brilliant so so poignant and heartfelt and and gut-wrenching um, but at the same time uplifting as well because he's also talk or they're, they're also talking about um fighting this battle yes they've got to fight it forever every single day but they they are on the right path and they've they've 
obviously you know pick themselves up and and they're carrying on in the right way and uh they've they've sorted themselves out and they're getting through stuff and that's brilliant to hear i love that um it's they're definitely success stories <laughs> um sadly some of them don't end in success and they take people far too soon um in the most horrible way and uh, people lose their lives and it, it leaves destroyed family and friends behind and it's horrible my heart goes out to, to to people in that situation people that are left behind to pick up the pieces and uh yeah like i say i mean you never know what someone's going through so i think it's really important to just be kind to everybody and um just sort of you know try and try and empathize with someone i know it's difficult if you're kind of caught in 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 a moment where somebody's going off at you about the the, the most ridiculous thing in your eyes it's the most ridiculous thing but to them it could be the final straw um, and it could be a, a tiny fraction of a much bigger picture. <laughs> there are people that struggle out there, you know, not everybody is okay with stuff and they deal with with things sometimes in, in not so great ways, but um, you kind of, hearing stories like this, you kind of see how somebody can get to go down those dark paths. Um, it, it happens a lot, sadly, and yeah just thank god that these these guys have success stories to talk about that they they're making something themselves they're they they they've got out of those holes that that they they were in and uh yeah hopefully the only way is up for them both <laughs> um and i understand nova too as well has had uh, a few struggles uh, in her life as well so I, I say those two three um all three of these these uh these artists have have kind of had their struggles in their own ways and um, mad respect to them for, for picking themselves up, dusting themselves off and often just willing to to um, take on this battle um, and, and be better and, and sort themselves out. So love this, absolutely brilliant, um, perfectly delivered um, and yeah, mad respect to them. <laughs> So if you enjoyed this too, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up with more reactions from hopefully Mad Child, Tom and Nova and reactions to other artists on Thursdays and Sundays and Tom McDonald Tuesday, obviously exclusively for Tom McDonald Music on Tuesdays. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. Yeah, making it, making it brighter, right through the gray.